Well, that court session is still going on right now, but already the defendant, Carlos Rivera, has pled guilty to 19 indictments, including several charges involving a number of underage girls. And as of right now, with many of those crimes potentially facing the possibility of life sentences. Now, they include five counts of aggravated rape of a child, six counts of trafficking, as well as involuntary manslaughter. The family of Chloe Ricard is also here in court. Ricard was 13 years old when her body was found outside Lawrence General Hospital on May 20, 2019. Ricard was pronounced dead a short time after. Rivera today admitting to giving Ricard cocaine and raping the 13-year-old before her death. The prosecution says an autopsy would also show that fentanyl was in Ricard's system. Now, some of today's charges against the other victims go back to 2013. In accepting of Rivera's plea deal, Judge Tom Drexel told the defendant he will allow these convictions to run concurrently at the same time, with the longest sentence running between 20 and 22 years in prison for the counts of aggravated rape of a child. Now, as of right now, Chloe Ricard's mother is on the stand addressing Rivera. She asked several times why he did not help her daughter, saying that, that the events of that day haunt her forever. We're going to have a full report on today's hearing coming up on our evening newscast. But for now, live in Salem, we're at Matt Reed, WCBB News Center 5.